let's talk about sustainability in real estate. We're hearing more and more discussion about the desire for landlords to run sustainable buildings as, their, as the landlord. We're hearing more and more discussion around sustainability integrated into new development, smart cities, um, infrastructure planning. How are we seeing infrastructure and sustainability and development and asset management merge around the topic? Uh, there's, there's a lot in that question from a lot of different aspects. Um, you have the, another element of activists coming in. You have a social activist coming in, pushing many of these companies to expand their sustainability, which in the context of real estate, especially the corporate real estate users, uh, is largely around a couple of major areas around energy and, and water to the most significant. And how do they improve where those, those are and those uses are? Now, changing how a company does that from an operational perspective and improving the economics uh, has significant uh, issues in, in terms of how you organize, how you do lease transactions, how you modify your existing uh, arrangements with landlords. I think landlords, from a fact, practical perspective, have a, a difficulty changing their existing sustainability for assets uh, until the leases roll, unless they have a willing counterparty in the tenant. Uh, to make those changes in advance of the modification of the existing contract. So you have a lot of players trying to, to, to fix it at different times and different capital spending. And with different, different motivations. Capital. Exactly. Uh, the biggest catalyst for significant change in, as it relates to sustainability are going to come from tenants, and Tom talked about tenants, because the corporate responsibility strategies of companies require it. are going to require it. You're seeing it in Europe, and in fact, in Europe, you're seeing a role for accounting firms to attest to certain degrees of sustainability in the operations of real estate. But that's happening in the United States at a faster and faster pace, and I think this year and the next, we're going to see an increasing trend of focus on the tenants' part for sustainability. Uh, lease RFPs are going to require a certain level of lead certification, or that building's not even possible. And what's behind all of that is employees. So a company's corporate responsibility strategies are about you know, doing right by the environment, but also responding to the ask of employees who are looking for that in their workforce. Because staff retention is going to become a bigger and bigger issue in the United States as we continue to have this um, baby boom population exiting the workforce. Uh, a new population, Gen Z, which is the, gen the generation after the millennials, which is considerably smaller, entering the workforce and um, a shortage in sort of office using jobs between jobs that are out there and available workforce. So as the demand for talent increases, companies are gonna to listen to the workforce and if one of their requirements is sustainable workplaces, companies aren't gonna have a choice, they're gonna to have to create that for them. And this feeds right into our real estate life cycles initiative because as you think about talking to a, a company that is a heavy user of real estate, a right. corporate user of real estate, given the needs and the desirability of building the sustainability right into their strategy in terms of how they're doing it, we're out in front of clients talking about the finance elements, the accounting elements, the strategy elements, all of that coming together in one conversation with, with one party that can help deliver that in a, in a integrated, unified thought process.